Welcome to All American Arcade, the TV show that's going to explore all the secrets and fun of the arcade business. Hi, I'm Todd Tucky, owner of TNT Amusements in Southampton, Pennsylvania, and we are going to take you on a magical tour for the next 30 minutes. Explore with us the magic and mystery of arcade games and see how you can own your very own machine. Pinball like you've never seen it before. Or how about a video game filled with all the classics of yesteryear. The Love Meter. Revolution X. Star Wars. Cocktail table, video, and pinball machines along with the standard uprights. We have them all. Hey, wait a minute. Let's meet the crew. Tony. Jason. Jonathan, Wallace, Walter, Stephen, Frank. Now sit back and relax and enjoy all American arcade. Wait a minute. Where's Kurt? Kurt! How about if we start our first episode with a classic game, Junior Pac-Man by Bally Midway. Oh, we sold a boatload of Junior Pac-Mans over the year, and I actually don't even have a, a number, but I wanted to show you that this particular Junior Pac-Man was a conversion from a Miss Pac-Man. Bally Midway very cleverly came up with a kit. Convert your Pac-Man or Junior Pac-Man to a Miss Pac-Man. Now, this is the kit for a Pac-Man or Miss Pac-Man. They also made a different kit for a Super Pac-Man. Super Pac-Man is the cabinet that has the cutouts on the sides. Actually, let me show you one right now. This is a Super Pac-Man that was converted to a Junior Pac-Man. See how the logo is a little bit different? Okay, this is a very ugly one. Also even had the Authorized Enhancement sticker. I should call Tin Ann Amusements and start screaming. They went bankrupt many, many years ago. This used the logic board here, and then the power supply was there. You can see that Tin Ann apparently had big problems with this because the connectors all cut apart. So we haven't done anything with this. This has been actually sitting in the warehouse for ages, but hard to believe, but we can make this back into a Junior Pac-Man, or we can make it into a Super Pac-Man, it's original game again. And make it very beautiful. That was a Super Pac-Man cabinet. Okay, there's a difference. The difference is the Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man have a transformer system on the bottom that provides the raw voltage to the logic board. The logic board then creates its own 5 volts and 12 volts on the board. Now, here's the difference. If you try to put a Super Pac-Man Junior Pac-Man kit in, which doesn't have this up here. See, all this is missing, okay? It doesn't have it. Notice it says a field kit, okay? If you try to put this board into this cabinet, like this game was, we actually picked this up from somebody who got another board. They said their board was bad. They bought the wrong board and put it in. And guess what they did? I thought you liked it when I did that. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit? But I, I thought the music stuff was good. I, I don't think it's very good until you sing. Yeah, but what a great song. And it makes sense in this case. Because this board is now blown. Okay, let's get back to the game. The customer ordered this from us. We give it a new high gloss black. It was originally painted dull black, if you remember the video for, I think it was Gladiators, where we showed the dull black paint. I think it was Gladiators or Strike Master. Put a brand new television set in it. Color TV, mind you. 
we're not putting black and white in anything anymore. New fuse blocks on the bottom. Okay, of course we took the board out and serviced the board. We had to put new capacitors in for the uh, 5 volts and for the 12 volts. Stephen was able to work his magic on the kit, the sticker that was in the kit. That's what they gave you in the kit. They also gave you in the kit this top glass. Oh, people said, how much did it cost? It was $599. So for $599, you got a logic board, two stickers, a glass, not plexi, but real glass, top glass, a new monitor bezel, which was a solid glass, a new control panel overlay, and the front sticker too. So it was really nice. What a great kit. 600 bucks, and you had a whole new game to put out in location. And everybody said, wow, you got a new game. Now some people just stuck the stickers on the side of their Miss pac mantle, but almost everybody repainted their cabinets. And what a great game. This is the game with the scrolling mazes. So uh, your screen is this big, but as you move over, the picture scrolls. And no, I'm not going to play it for long. I'm just going to play it. Uh, one nice feature I liked about this game is when the, the first thing is a, is a bicycle, a tricycle. When that comes out of the center like that, when it hits the dots, it makes them doubly large. Oh, gosh. Oh my gosh, I was I was going to show you, but now I can't. See, notice they're gone now. We'll have to wait for the bike to come out. I really want you to see the bike scene. So let, let's start for, fooling around over here. I'll fiddle around. See all the energizers? Everybody loves those energizers. So let's let him bounce around a bit and make what I'm trying to have it do. A lot of you have played this already, so you kind of know what goes on. But see, look at the large dots that our bike has made. Now, watch what happens, though. I get him, but you see, when I go up to get the dots, it slows me down a little. So I have to be very careful. The little dots, there's zero slowdown. Zero. But the big fat dots... Why am I obsessed with the word fat, Frank? <laughs> I'm just pleasantly plump. Anyway, we're done. Anyway, you get the idea. Terrific game. Board is very dependable, but I, oh, I should show you one more thing. This is important. The company, uh, Bally Midway, supplied a metal board. The board was screwed on, and I know why. The board is thinner. It's not as thick as a Miss Pac-Man. Let me show you a Miss Pac-Man board. It's thicker. Not by much, but thick enough. So it's not as flimsy as the other board. Look at that. Quite a difference, huh? It's quite a difference. Let me go back to the Miss Pac-Man board again. There it is again. There you go. I guess they saved a little bit of money. The problem is, is most people don't leave the board on that metal tray and they take it out and then the board can be cracked more easily. But the good news is it still uses a Z80 and it's a pretty well-made board as long as it doesn't get cracked. I can do that with this board because it's blown. It's officially blown. Wait a minute. I think we can do it. How about it, boys? Well, I hope you learned something new about Pac-Man. And now, after this commercial, we have more stuff coming. How about buying a real arcade game for your house? My daughter Tammy will show you all about it. Have you ever thought of owning your own video arcade game? Well, come to TNT Amusements, we've got plenty of them. We have a hundred different machines for sale in our Southampton PA showroom. Where can you find classics like Galaxian and Mortal Kombat? Pac-Man, Space Invaders, Stargate! Oh, and we have Pinball! If you get tired of your game, we guarantee you generous trade-in credit. How about buying your very own shuffleboarding out? <laughs> Woo! Oh, I love touchscreen games! How about buying your very
very own Butler jukebox that holds 500 CDs. It's electric! And all of our machines come with TNT Amusement's exclusive Find Your Service Plan. Go to our website for prices and more info, tntamusements.com. We're in the yellow pages under Amusement. This next segment is about Gottlieb's pinball machine Totem, and it's a complete overhaul that we did. Wait until you see how it came out. And while it's running, I'm going to see if I can locate Kurt to see where he is on his service call list. We are doing... What the hell? Oh. They're practicing next door. Wow. Let's go do your air guitar. This is what happens when you're here after hours. Why does it make any different than any other day? And we've got this wall, too, separating us. Ah. Should we wait or should we film? I don't know what, to, you know what? Uh, well, this is coming along, hot hand. That's coming along. I'm not gonna talk about that yet. And lethal weapon, yes, yes, another one. Oh my gosh, people love that game. And a World Cup Soccer, right there. World Cup Soccer. Another one. Uh, should we wait? What? 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 Do you think people are going to rate? He called it World Crap Soccer. Stay tight. I get the two finger typers in their underwear. Anyway. In their mother's basement? In their mother's basement. In their mom. Mom and Daddy's basements. Oh, that's me. What should well, what should we do? Paul, what should we do? Should we wait till the music's over? You got 20 minutes of battery left. My God. I'll tell you what. We'll wait. We'll come right back. Well, the band's not going to stop. They're not going to stop. We have waited and waited, and we have to finish this. This is our fifth totem that we have sold. I can't that roll. Anyway, Paul is bored. Uh, he is bored. He wants, we all want to go out for dinner. So let, let's show you, look, how stunning this totem is. But it wasn't stunning. No, Frank, this was not stunning. As a matter of fact, there were some serious, unusual issues with this. Whoever owned the machine, the Varia target must have broken. That's this neat little thing up here that Gottlieb uses. So you know what he did? He filled the, the crack with Bondo. Yes. And he put a rolling switch. So every time you rolled over that, you got 5,000 points and a five bonus. Nothing else. None of this other nonsense. None of the excitement of it bouncing back. None of that nonsense. So let's go and look at the before shot. And we're starting to work on this, but Tony, what did you find? A little bit of a problem here. Somebody decided to take this whole armature out and bondo. That's where the Vera target was. And that's what it is. You flip oh. it upside down, they just decided to take it out completely oh, and replace wow. it with just a switch. <laughs> Insto points. Well, I guess they couldn't figure out how to fit. You know, the Vera targets are so easy to adjust and fix. It's as outrageous as somebody would do this. Yeah, this is actually the side plate of the Vera target that mounted on the side. Mm -hmm. So, oh, well, we got our work cut out for us here, Tony. Yes, we do. <laughs> All the scrapes have been filled in with Bondo. He's working on the, the dark red color now. He's already done the yellow. You can see everything's filled in here. Bondo is gone. Got the play field all polished here, so we're working on that. These are some of the scrap play fields, games that we've junked. Let's save the play fields out where we'll get our parts from. And we just so happen to have not one or two, but six cavemans. And of course, each caveman has two very target assemblies on it. 
it's a great reason to, if you have the room to keep parts play fields and once we take a lot of parts off then we usually throw the play fields out but we offer them up for free if you remember the post we did uh, before I guess about three months ago we put about 20 of these outside for free nope we don't have any right now we'll let you know when we do this will be the Varia target that we're going to put on our machines and I'm going to put a link up where you can actually watch us clean and service the Varia target so you can fix your own later. That, that was pretty neat, huh? What a change! Look at how Steven has done his wonders with the artwork on the side. Back glass is beautiful, all lit with these LEDs from um, Kimball Light. Inside, and uh, it's come up absolutely beautiful. Uh, oh, we're dedicating this to Pat at the Game Box in Ohio. Dedicated to you. Yes, I meant to show you. I opened it up and closed it. See, That's what got me. this music is driving me nuts. Look, new Rotten Dog power supply new 9 board. We like these boards because you can go into these real advanced tests that the Rockwell board couldn't do. A good, the good old original driver board. Nothing wrong with that, but we do have a new interconnect cable. So we put a new one of those on and we also have a new cable here. These are also made by Docent Electronics. Great product, never a problem. The game is perfect. See how we color coded the LEDs back here? I think that looks really nice. We also burnished all the displays like I showed you in all the other videos. You have to do that to make that look good and work with it. What's the tool you use to do that? You use a burnisher. It's not even here. I'm not even going to look for it. So many of you watch these videos, but I wanted to show you underneath. This would be really clever to show you now. I don't take the ball out because it drives everybody nuts when I lift the playfield up to the ball fan full. I do that on purpose. Listen, the wall. Yes. I'm sorry, where's your live rock band? <sighs> See, if you worked here, you'd have this the music pounding away when you work at night. I want to show you guys something. This is the Varia Target. Everybody says, oh, I can't figure out how to adjust it. Frank, come over on this side. Over here. What, over here? Uh, look, you count how many setups. They have the right grooves in it. And you line up the, tar the uh, little piece simply by loosening these two screws. I'm going to show you so you'll know. Look at my fat head in here. Okay. Now, now the relay is loose. So to do it right, you move it all the way up and move the relay until it catches it just right on the last set. Now just think, if you guys come and work for me, you'll be able to hear all this music day in and day out. Okay, now, watch. It's not setting on any. First stab on the first set of contact, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and reset. That's all it is. It's as simple as can be to adjust that. A child could do it. Okay, we're done. Let's go back. No. Oh, my back is a disaster area. You know, I picked up a Back to the Future today. Paul and I did. I said it was both. It's in my office. So I thought, oh, this will just pull up, roll it out the back door, bring it out. His office was in his cellar. Of his house. Of his house. That's his office. It's in my it's in my office. Yes. Okay. And then of course he failed to mention the landing and the turn and not one or two or three, but five pets. Anyway, but we got the game. We got the pretty car out front and we had- And the pretty car, yeah. A, what was it, a Stucker? 
Oh, yeah. What the hell was that thing? It was a talkie. Yeah. Anyway, the game is loading. Uh, I'm going to show you the barrier target now. It has two positions for 3,000, and it immediately kicks it back. Two positions for 5,000 and 5 bonus, and it has three positions, or two positions for the top. See? I told you a child could adjust it. If you have this on three ball mode, up, oh, up, oh, young lady, adjuster. do you want to test that for me? Yeah. You do. Look at the camera and say hi. No, that's not the camera. That's the camera. The thing that's black. See that one right there? There we go. Uh-oh. She's annoyed. I have a way with children. Uh, you might want to notify uh, Megan's Law about that. Oh. Anyway, when you have the game on three ball, if you hit the A, it spots the D. If you hit the D, it spots the A. But B and C, you have to roll in. But cleverly, Gottlieb printed up another set of directions on the other side. So when you play five ball by flipping a switch, then the rules change. Then you have to roll through each of those individually. There's other changes too. So next time you look at your scorecard, take a look at the back side of it. Anyway, so look, A spots A and D. B and C spots B. Oh, we know where A is out, Frank. Our A is out. Oh, oh that's just great. Call the maintenance department. Oh, we'll check that before it gets shipped. Okay. Our extra ball is this switch here. But you know what? I always like this little flip gate here, where you could actually roll out and down the lane here. And you could also go this way, too. So I always thought that was a real clever idea. Yep. Now, you already know that this game... It is? No. Oh, I think it was the vibration, maybe. Who knows? But you know what? And let me flip the switches. You know, the soundboard has alternate sounds. So if the one set of uh, noise that annoys you, the second set will surely annoy you even more. Well, now, now they started playing again. So, anyway. This baby, we are shipping this to Utah. Another machine going to our customer in Utah. It's going out on Monday. We think he's going to be really happy when he sees it. We'll make sure we check that A. And listen. I like this song. Ah, listen. You can order CDs of this song if you want. Just uh, email me or call me. That was quite an overhaul, and as you saw, Kurt made an appearance there, <laughs> just for a moment before he went out on service again. And now we're going to a quick commercial, and we return with a really neat segment. How about having a private party here at TNT Amusements in our maze-like showroom? Did you know that we have well over sixty games on free play? Play on with the feeling. Yes, we have unlimited playtime in our Everton showroom. Try our antique light bulbs or look at our hologram collection. Plus, we're always changing games in the showroom, so there's always different games to play. And one of our party hostesses will run your entire party for you, making it real easy for you. I'd like you to meet my lovely wife, Pam. You know, folks, Pam and I were happy for almost 25 years. And then we met. Ha, 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 ha. 25 years, eh? That's not even my joke. It's Rodney Dangerfield. Hmm. But it's banana cream. Hmm. Look, your very own private party room. And we even show a classic car, too, while they're eating their food. We'll make your party a smash hit. We're in the Yellow Pages under amusement. And now I have some fun stuff for you. Real phone messages that were left on our answering machine. Let's start. We thought you'd like to hear some of the recordings that we get from people that call and leave messages on our automation. This first, the first two calls you're going to hear 
were after we aired our TV show on local cable. It's quite amazing. Listen. Hey, hey, Tucky. I was just, we were looking for a special game uh, called How Hitler. Uh, exterminate TNT. He's trying to say ex exterminating TNT. He does get it. He does get it here when he says it again. This is Jeff. Jeff. Sandmeyer. And all the game is called How Hitler. Exterminate TNT. If you got that in stock, call me. Isn't it amazing that guy no longer uses a funnel when he drinks. He drinks it right out of the bottle. Anyway, this next message happened when one of our guys took our big truck home to help move someone from one house to another. And he left the truck on the street in a, in a regular public parking place. And apparently it was near in front of this guy's house. Listen to this message, boy. He thanked me. Wasn't that just wonderful? What a lovely man. And look, he can use that word as a verb, a pronoun, a noun, an adjective. See? Remarkable use and command of the English language. And that is our phone messages for today. And that's it for episode one of All American Arcade. But watch all of our YouTube videos. You can do that right now. Go to YouTube and go to our channel, TNT Amusements, or just type in TNT Amusements into the search engine. We have over 700 videos. You can go to our website right now and see what we have in stock and the prices, TNTAmusements.com, and you can always email us here. And you can always use the old phone and call us. <laughs> anyway, that's it for tonight. And remember, living is good, isn't it? Good night. Now get out!